you know that I have hermit crabs. I think I've even had them in one of my videos, but uh, we've had them since 2015, and recently we migrated their 10 gallon tank to a 60 gallon tank. Uh, the biggest part was mixing together this stuff, Eco Earth, it comes in bricks and you soak it for a while and it turns into some soil stuff like this right here. Hmm. We mixed it together with a bunch of play sand. I think we totaled eight or seven bags, seven 50 pound bags. So that's 350 pounds of sand with a few of those bricks. Um, just mixed it together in that bucket and Rory, my long-legged, long-armed husband, helped put it all in the tank. Um, a few weeks prior, I made these little pools out of rubber-made Tupperware bits, containers, and put some of these little jewels in there for aesthetic oceanic value. Made little ramps for them so that they can crawl in and out. Um, <clears throat> had a little air pump uh, that uh, distributed bubbles and uh, maintains the humidity in the tank. But the biggest part was this, this sand part. Lots of mixing. My arms got so much ex exercise this day. So much. I was actually surprised to wake up and find that I wasn't that sore, actually. But, uh, yeah. It took, uh, took about three hours for all this to, to go down. Uh, right in the middle of it, we actually had to go out to Home Depot and grab another 200 pounds because we underestimated how many bags we would need to begin with. And, uh, and then we came back and we kept on going. Mixing and dumping, mixing, dumping. Great old times. I think we finally managed to eat something in there. It was probably on that trip to Home Depot. We finally got some food. I know three hours doesn't seem like a long time, but when you're mixing stuff together and there's no end in sight, you get an appetite. I think we got some sandwiches. Yeah, that's, I think that's what happened. Somewhere in there, we actually went out and found another friend. It was at Petco, which is terrible. Don't buy hermit crabs from Petco. Don't support it, but anyway, I did. We were there and they had this cute little hermit with a gimpy eye and I rescued her. We named her Maya after Maya Angelou. And finally, finally, finally the tank was done. We got all of our decorations in there and put the crabs in once it was obvious that the humidity was going to do what it wanted or what it needed to and we had nice heat in there we put the crabs in and they seemed to really enjoy it and our little Maya went straight for the shells to my complete happiness she didn't change into this one but she definitely changed really quickly. And, uh, yeah, man, we've got a, we've got a little, a little crab tat. It's a, it's a happy little town. I'm really excited to see how they do in this new environment. 